move on to the next session. We are running a bit late of time. Uh, so now this session, we'll uh, call on stage Dr. Samuel. Uh, sir, if you can come to the stage. So Dr. Samuel will be uh, talking about Zora Mega Food Park and how Zora Mega Food Park can support entrepreneurs who are into food processing business and with regard to access to infrastructure for growing your business. So I'll take a little uh, bit of time here already. Uh, so Samuel heads overall operations for the company Zora Mega Food Park. He holds a bachelor degree from Trinity College Dublin, Ireland, a PGDM from Indian Institute of Management, Kozikot, Kerala, and a PG PhD from the Department of Commerce from Mizoram University, Aizol, Mizoram. He has been working for more than 11 years with Zora Mega Food Park, and prior to that, he has two decades of experience in education, ITS, and food processing industries. So, sir, uh, Today, from the morning, we have been discussing on how uh, different stakeholders, resources within Mizoram and outside can support entrepreneurs, women entrepreneurs particularly, in the state. Uh, so, sir, can you uh, kind of uh, take us along with regard to Zoram Mega Food Park? Thank you. Over to you, sir. Thank you for the introduction. Sorry, I couldn't come in the morning. I was signing one of my clients. I won't be showing up in my PPT, I put it in just now. Uh, uh, I must sign it too, so I'm going to put it in the PPT. 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 I was just apologizing for the fact that I once stood in front of a crowd for almost three years. So I'll just be flying through my initial. I I am not a subject matter expert or a researcher. My data is limited to my little uh, cloister inside my uh, my food park. But uh, just to show why we exist. So India's food industry is uh, you know, growing. We are the ninth largest exporter of agricultural products and food products according to the latest data. The problem is that India. Processes very little of its uh, agriculture, so around two to five percent. Whereas in places like China, 20, 30 percent of the uh, food is made into you know more uh, more productive, more high value uh, items. So, so you know, we're missing our wheat. Whereas we are selling the potatoes, uh, they are selling the potato fries where the value addition is there. So I think we all also know that you know the more you some more can can so we in Mizoram we have a, a lot of potential. Um, we have, we, although a very small fraction of our horticultural produce, around 12 to 15 percent, is actually uh, you know being accessed. We are one of the largest producers of fruits in the northeast. So, uh, what applies to Mizoram? Apply, what applies to India? Doubly applies to Mizoram. We don't have the, go ahead. We don't have the machinery, the you know the, the infrastructure to turn our fruits, our vegetables into something that can be a, a sustainable business for us. And our farmers are missing out on the value that's available all over the world. All over the world, the food industry is growing. Food is becoming a vital industry within India also. It's expected around 150,000 crores will be invested in the next 10 years. So, uh, where we fit in, uh, where we fit in uh, is through, we are actually at something known as an SPV, Special Project Vehicle, or a Special Purpose Vehicle. What we do as a company, although we are a private company, we, are, uh, we execute uh, some of the projects that are uh, being uh, put out by the government. So, specifically, we are executing something known as Mega Food Park. There are 41 mega food parks all over India, and we are the ones doing it in Mizoram. So our main function, yeah, our main function is, is to look at this problem. If you are setting your business, money business, and then don't tell can till Tiba what we do centrally, our core activity, and then make a consumer more working, 
Tell me about our Fara pay or Makam. All the other stuff that's required, for example, you have to worry if you're starting an independent business, you have to worry about where to source your electricity, your water. How do I find customers? How do I find producers? Uh, sorry, suppliers? Where do I store my products? All those things are, have to be taken over by you. So as, a, as an industrial park, our job, our job is to provide you the peripheral things so you can concentrate on your core business. In Titurahani, in Burtina, available. Kando Tina, Kando provide only to Tina security there, uh, storage there, warehouse there, cold storage there. Uh, in the Tamun to run the building there, can staff there, or can talk to them to take up. KD can provide an amica, the customers will come in and uh, you know, concentrate on your core activities. In addition to that, you'll be with a cluster of people doing the same thing as you. Kema is maybe someone who's producing your packaging or someone who can sell your products onto international markets. So when you cluster together, there is a, something known as synergy, right? So we, the sum of our parts is, better than, uh, is, is more than our individual value. So, uh, so the way we function is we have a central processing unit in Kamra. Uh, there's going to be a video after this, so I'll explain it better, which is in policy, which is on the main highway. And then we have three, uh, what I want, BPCs or primary processing centers in uh, Kingpal in Lungle, uh, in Mwadu, in Champhai, and also in Tenzo, uh, in the uh, Chief District. So these these are our small of steel factories. And we also have surrounding collection centers in various villages, although some of them are defunct right now. So we are creating a network so that we can service uh, people who are in the industry. Mainly we are mainly focused on food, right? So we are, this is, as a, you know, this is the kind of structure we are operating in. In the central processing area, we have various facilities, which I will show in a small video after this. And then all these can be leased. Either you can lease the machinery or the factories, or you can lease land, and we'll hi highlight all those things. So, uh, like I said, we are a special purpose vehicle. We are a private company, but we are executing a private project. And, and uh, we have uh, been at this for almost 11 years. We opened in 2020, but then we got hit by the pandemic. So, we've been yeah, we've been suffering for the last two years like everyone else. Uh, we, we lost all our customers. Our machines are starting to get run down. But uh, since last year, we've been trying to pick up and get more clients. And we've had some good news uh, over the last eight or nine months. OK, this is a small video. You can watch the video. OK. okay. Okay, you can play the video inside. Welcome. It's a bit corporate, but that's all I have, so I, I just let it play out. 
So we have our own substation from the same just to feed we have the potential to feed our twenty to thousand batteries and future clients. A spy strike like this possible? Like England, so I so to do that again. I'm not going to walk in on the way. This to them. This is to them. This is to them. to them. This is 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 to Actually, uh, I think it was a ginger, but we're just testing it. Mm -hmm. Shall we try it? Uh, oh, high volume. Probably the highest volume production capacity here in the world. In theory, too much depends on the arm. Always in theory. Juicy Mike has a capacity of 2 metric tons per hour and is designed to process a wide range of local and imported foods. The in house bottling line allows clients to complete the processing of juice from the to the one integrated line. Ten standard These are our standard for small and small With today's contract that I signed, they are now full. The we have one storage unit that we use as much that we need. So it's all full. This warehouse has been taken over by the Shuri Ali. It's a project under the state rural organization. It's a woman owned, woman run society. We have allowed a piece of processing machine inside the next month or so. As the bar closes, it has to be replaced for these facilities. We are now moving forward to the next phase as the vision partnerships are forging new connections. So, we can move on to the next slide. There's a small. Uh, we will fly to the thing, so uh, this is a summary of, that's a picture of our plot. So we have all the Abe Bonkatika. So if you set up with us, you don't have to worry about your warehouse, we have one. You don't have to worry about your water supply, we have our water supply. Electrification, right? all those things which you which are external to your core activities, we, we will provide you. Right? And also, if you wish to lease some of our machines, these are all usable. We have, uh, I'll talk about later on. We have a, we were following very rigid lease terms before. So guy, Amansa, then in such China, Amansa, in Amansa, too, Amansa, in the country, Amansa, in the country, Tawatu, and in Fourteen, very slow and subsidized price. We're offering all these facilities now, and it is working now. We've got around ten clients now, but we're inviting more people to come in. Hope our target has to have around twenty-five to thirty clients within the center. So you can come in in different ways. You can either come in as a small entrepreneur and take up one of our MSMEs. But like I said, most of them are full now. Or you can take a plot down, you see below the industrial plots. You can take an industrial plot and set up your own factory. Now, so we are under the Ministry of Food Processing Industries. We've got, uh, sorry, MOFP. Under MOFP, when you ask for a MOFP uh, unit scheme uh, subsidy, 
if you set up with us, if you set up with the food bank, you get seven points extra on your approval. If you're asking for a monthly project, a ministry food processing project, you get seven points extra by sending it to us. That's just another example. So we also have, uh, like I said, we have independent waters, right? We mix the Tuitun, which is the supply, the main uh, supply uh, river for uh, Gondui, Gondui town. So we are not allowed to touch that. And we have respected the local people. So we don't draw water from their river. But we do have three borders, which are about uh, you know, uh, sustaining our needs right now. Uh, also, like I said, if you require your workers to stay with us, we have facilities for that. And we, if we don't have facilities, we we will try to provide it in other ways. In addition to that, you have our services. Suppose you need help with electrification or you need help with approval with the government. Our office in Aizawa will help you with that. So these are some of the things. We are mainly focused on local products, you know, especially on our, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, spice drying and uh, food processing. We have pretty fish passion food, ginger, turmeric, pineapple, and miso chilies. However, we're flexible. Suppose someone wants to do noodles in our spice dry unit, it's possible. Like right? we, we were willing to adjust the machine, uh, you know, uh, you know accept, uh, adjust our production line to meet your requirements. Right, so I think what we showed earlier was right next to the highway. Right now the road is very bad. I don't know if you came by road. It takes around two and a half hours now, but it actually takes forty-five minutes when the roads are good. You can commute from here. Unfortunately, the roads are pretty bad right now, but that's not going to happen. Apparently, the uh, six lane will be coming on in a year or two, and you should be able to reach Aizawa in about half. Also, it's just a you know half an hour drive from the airport, and Sairam is going to be one of the railheads. It's going to be just 40 minutes from here. So we have future proofing. The reason we picked this zone, this uh, this piece of land, although it was very expensive for 60 lakh or something, expensive for reserve, it's because of the location. It's right next to. So these are some of the things we have. We have a cold storage unit for one. This has four chambers and it can carry 250 metric tons per chamber. We have a dry warehouse which I said is making three thousand. This is the common facility. Yeah, the common facility is okay. So, so if I sorry, if I can ask you. So this one is a MSME unit. Yeah. So if I want to do the MSME, yes. so I have I have taken those thousand square feet. Yeah. So what am I allowed to do in that in that thousand? As long as you do something that's related to food processing, you can do whatever you want. And what about my shared facilities, the, the, the ginger uh, processing that you showed me? Yeah, no. if the person leases it over six months, it's his for six months. We, we won't let you. Then another party will do it. Unless that person allows you to lease the, uh, if you lease the processing. Yeah, the processing yes. unit. Yeah, then it's it okay. okay. So that is dedicated. Dedicated. Uh, so so is who is ever dedicated. But you can think for just a month. So other than our main processing unit, we have uh, small factories in, like I mentioned earlier, in Lung Lake, Sheep, Sheep, and Jarpai. Uh, uh, These are small warehouses. If you have activities there, so it's so Tikfala, Tikfala factory there, that they. Tikfala factory, Chongtu factory there. So I just called them the Aroma said, hey, warehouse. You know, you get a lot of Tikfala, Jarpai. You can use it for where or where or what or manufacturing for the one, some five beds, beds or all these. Can we put some business or something for now? Right, so call call the way to see that we call that. Call some of, but if you can do it, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Call <laughs> He's asking what kind of facilities we can provide. I'm going to be actually two metric tons of our car. Tata Katar. It's going to be a big car. It's going to be a metric tons of our car. Tata Katar. It's going to be a big car. It's going to be a big car. 
these are the things we are offering as support. This is independent of what the government is asked us to do. Right? So all our production lines are for lease right now, discounted rates. Right now the working plant is being uh, we're negotiating with the party to make juice. Other than that, our spice drying and our canned units are available as well as our regular chamber. So if you were interested, it's a little bit more interesting. So we will give you a very discounted rate. For example, our, our canning unit is 15,000 a month. So you know, you'll hardly spend a rupee a kilo. So you don't. right now the reason we're doing this is because our machines have been lying fallow for so long. Wanted to so uh, we have flexible lease period. If you want to take it for two months, you can take it for two months. Our minimum lease period is two months, or you can take it for four years, three years, five years. Uh, we also, if you want to lease our land, Kumasu, we lease Kape, Kamaya, we need to factory set up soon. If you want to import some, I don't know which one. Kumasu, Kai, lease Kape. I keep there, I think, 1%. Any, Mokilena, Kalan, 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 so in the last 20 years, you can pay 20 installments to fee for you. We don't care as long as you come and stay with us. And if you're doing with the MSME shares, the small ones, should pay up. We have give six months uh, payment for us. So for six months, what you set up, we won't take your rent. And then you can start paying us that after six months. So you won't, so that your cash flow doesn't get lost. So we, we just, we're trying to attract you to come to our. Uh, we can give you, if you stay with us, we'll give you our office spaces. They're all built. We have around 12, 30 pre built offices in the main building. You saw the main building with the nice, you know, beds and all that. If we have office spaces there, which we will give you at around 2,000 rupees a room per month. And uh, we will supply a local hostel where you can keep your workers 750 rupees per bed. Right? It's, a, it's lively that we will try to put entertainment in there. Because we are in Kamra. There is no city for the next 40 kilometers right away, and the closest Kamran village, which has a population of around 300, they have no place to live. So you have to stay with us, so we provide the, you know, the residential uh, uh, quality. Seven, fifty rupees per time for right. one month. One month. In a month, seven hundred fifty rupees per time. Okay. Uh, we also water. We're giving at uh, eight pesa. So this is super cheap. Uh, this is, I think, one tenth of what the government charges you. Because we want to, this is one of the biggest that put in. Unfortunately for us, or fortunately for us, one of our clients is a packaging, drinking water producer. He makes aquatic. So it means he's, he's living it out. The eight rupees per, per, per liter, he's having a great time. But he was one of our first clients, so this is a present to you. So we, you, and also it's uh, more water, so it's quite clean. Also, we, we give free support in terms of, we will try to get electricity to your factory. What you do inside, we can't really help you, that's up to you. But we'll get the electricity to your factory, we'll get the water to your factory, 
Okay, that's a, that's a new thing. Next. Keeping it short. So these are our patent challenges. You might recognize some of the brands. So Aquatic Water Janssen is uh, Rahul Chetri. His, uh, his, his water is on the white uh, packaging. Uh, Vincent Co, they just started last year, they launched their product, three pace, which is ginger garlic paste. They launched, they, they launched that, I think, four or five months ago, it's in the market right now. And Ecofar recently joined Monkwe, she's a recent job. All these sir, are young people, below the age of 35, 40, other than that, very young people. Uh, Ropion, uh, they have two herbal uh, medicines and uh, teas. This is a uh, palm oil. Trident coffee, this is BB and friends. They are, they are uh, doing coffee processing. Propulian, I mentioned earlier, this is under the state rural application. And Sipu Uchok, they make noodles, this is Isaac. And also, Policy Government uh, Roads Association. So, in uh, the team of this uh, meeting, three of the companies are women owned. Women -owned. Nothing that we did, we don't claim any credit. It just happened organically. It just happened to. Uh, yeah, yeah. See, I don't have the. So we, we, we didn't, uh, we're not getting credit, we're just highlighting that uh, three women. Yeah, that's it. I Like I said, I'm not used to standing in front of people, but I think it would be more productive if you ask me questions and the Google answers more comfortable that way. Is all coming? Or is that coming? Doesn't matter. Do you have any questions? Specifically, if you want to have specific questions that you want to have us sit down with us, our office is in Zarko. In Trinity Building, uh, in the uh, Building, below next to Trinity Hospital, Trinity Diagnostic Center, in Zarko. So, you had actually created that question like that is that is changing model. This would be this should be a stream in terms of a business with the kind of model that we probably can't sustain more than one person on a big club. Because uh, they, they eat up around 300 thousand liters a month. Yeah, and we that's what we are trying to find other options. We've asked him also to temper his production. Yeah, it's so cheap for him. Yeah. 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 We were trying to help others, and he had to pay it. It's okay. We'll take those things. He also. Maybe it's from sustainability perspective. Yeah. You know, in terms of because he is a little bit of both, right? Yeah. So, so you have no, we have, we have, uh, are you planning to get a kind of rainwater harvesting? Yes, we, we have rainwater harvesting plan in place, and actually, we have, there's a river right next. Like I mentioned earlier, we're just respecting the local people that are not, uh, you know, not pumping the water. But legally, we, are, we can do what we want. We own land on both sides of the river. Any, if I was a cleaner company, I would have owned that. Right. The reason we set up there is because people do this. But we, we, as far as it's not required, they won't do it. Or we'll have to raise. Or both. So the ginger uh, and uh, money. So as of now, whatever is the potential that uh, you as an entrepreneur, you have a sense of it. How much of it is being tapped already by the choosing of enterprises that you made? They are very small companies. So you're talking about small startups. Uh, Vincent Go was making paste. And the others are doing other things, tea and coffee. So the problem with ginger is, I mean, it's not part of my purview, but the prices are not very stable. And they can go down from 10 rupees to 70 rupees in the blink of an eye. Especially election year, I think nobody's going to buy ginger this year, for example. So, uh, very little potential. We sell a lot of raw ginger. A lot of raw ginger is sold and shipped out of the uh, state, but we don't. Process it. We don't turn it into powder, into salt, or to paste, or to juice, unfortunately. So the small small enterprises will not be able to tap into that, that process of using They can. It is going out. They can. Uh, they can. Uh, because it, it's a matter of a communal, you know, how you negotiate with the locals. The locals also want to have sustainable local, you know, customers, but they're, they're not available right now. Some of the government activities are there, they buy from the locals, but processing is not happening much. A little bit, uh, they do a lot of turmeric in Rey, and some companies are doing powder ginger, but we don't locally produce, uh, we locally consume powder ginger. Yeah, they all sell Other than the bakeries here, we don't actually consume powder ginger.
But Bombay people have a significantly large market outside the state and they're nationally having a huge market. So is that being tapped by those uh, enterprises? We will try, but uh, we can't get the supplies. I think the next speaker might help us with that. Uh, so we are discussing about that in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Any other question for Dr. Samuel? You have to visit his office. Yes, I think that is a visit my office. Open invitation and I'm going to turn to the door. 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 Thank you. I, I'm, my areas, I've been in the jungle for so long, I, I know very little about the wider uh, implications of the infrastructure. But one thing I would add is that similar projects are being executed for textiles. So, you know, across India, there are textile parks, right? There are IT parks, obviously, you know about that. So we are specifically for food industry, but in the larger context, you know, infrastructure is one of the biggest problems in the world. Right now, other than the, you know, the production infrastructure, we're talking about roads, electricity not being consistent. So you can't really set up, you know, sustainable businesses. That's something that's, you know, that's out of our hands. What we have to, as entrepreneurs, I guess, adjust. So our job is to, I can't do anything on electricity, but I can make it easy for you to, you know, connect your electricity to your factory or, you know, get some water. So, anyway, thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Samuel. Thank you for all the information. I'm uh, sure all the entrepreneurs will be meeting you after the program.